Hello and welcome to the connecting the SAP Analytics Cloud to SAP Business One presentation. So in this presentation, we are going to show how we can configure a connection to an SAP Business One system and create a live connection to the HANA uh, of SAP Business One. So first, uh, when you log in uh, to your SAP Analytics Cloud, uh, you have to go to the main menu and go to connections. Here you can click on the plus sign to add a connection. You can select a live data type of a connection and SAP HANA. Now, uh, this uh, type of live connection re uh, requires you to have uh, either the cores set up and configured uh, in, on your SAP HANA um, um, system, or uh, if you have a reverse proxy, you can use that as well. And I did use a reverse proxy uh, mechanism for that. Uh, so all you have to do is now define a name for this connection. So let's call that HANA B1. description the same and then provide or define the path and the path um, uh, that I'm going to use and I already defined is going to be my uh, uh, B1 HANA uh, path so I'm going to type here B1 HANA and this is what I configured in my reverse proxy uh, to point to my uh, access engine on my HANA system then you can define the language, uh, I will select English, and your HANA credentials. So in my case, it's going to be my B1 admin, and then the password. Click OK. And now if the connection is successful, the live connection, you see that I have now a new connection created here, HANA B1. Now uh, let's create a model. Uh, that we're going to use this connection. So let's go to create and model. And uh, we are going to use a data source. So we're going to let's click here on, let's use a data source. Here are all the types of data, so data sources. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the live connection. And we did a uh, specify a new live data connection, which is going to be, that which is called HANA B1. This is the one that we just created. And then all I have to do is just to select a data source. And um, for example, uh, if I have a sales analysis um, a type of view, uh, it will show up here. For example, I have my uh, SAP sales analysis query, as you can see here. And, uh, and let's use this one. And let's call this uh, data source. So give it a name. Um, uh, let's call this sales sys And click OK. So now uh, we have a data source that is uh, created and we have a model that is uh, uh, linked to this data source. And let's just save here, make sure that this is saved. And that's it. OK, so that's it. Now what we can do is we can go again to the main menu and create a story that is going to use the data source. So uh, in my case, I'm going to select here um, uh, just a, a simple canvas page. And let's just add a simple chart. And now we have to select the data source and let's search for the one that I just created, which is the sales analysis query. Click OK. Okay, so now I have here the first element uh, in my uh, story page 
a type of, I have a chart. You can of course add other types like tables, uh, input controls and so on. Uh, but let's, uh, uh, let's uh, configure this specific element here. Uh, so let's add a measure. And here we have all the measures that are available. You can use it as a search or uh, just select a measure. Let's select my uh, net sales amount uh, in a system currency. And also let's add a dimension of my uh, business partner uh, name and code. Okay, so this is the performance uh, across multiple years uh, for the uh, revenue by customer. And if you want to add another chart, you can click here uh, on the chart. And again, you can add here. First of all, you can also configure the type of the chart. This could be also a trend, so let's maybe add a trend, line type of a trend. And let's add here a measure of my net sales. And also my gross profit as well. It's a side by side. And let's add our dimension in my case is going to be year. Let's select my post in year. And let's make it bigger so we can see. And as you can see here, you can see the gross profit and the revenue side by side. So now we can save this. Sales analysis. And Click OK, and now this is saved, and we'll be able to um, actually we'll be able to share this with others. And for that, we can actually uh, have another session for that. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope this was helpful for you. Take care.